Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be uh, me sharing my tips on how to get an A in microbiology. Um, so I'm also hoping that it helps you, you know what I mean? Because these are the tips that help me get an A in microbiology. So we're gonna start. Oh, just in case if you see me looking down, it's just because I have my iPad here and I kind of put the tips in here just so I don't blab too much, you know what I mean? So here we go. So I'm going to start with the first one. The first one is taking good notes. So as a microbiology student, um, you know, we always take, they always give notes. So however your professor gives notes, some professors give like PowerPoint, um, some usually give a uh, printed out version of it, or some, like my professor, he actually had us take actual notes, you know, like having a pen and a notebook in class every single day so that was very the, actually that was one of the very challenging things for me in the class because not only are you trying to listen to him and are you trying to hear what he's saying he's also trying he's he also makes us take notes so we're literally are physically scribbling our lives away every single class in order to have the right notes um so whichever way you take notes uh powerpoint presentation a printed out version um physical notes taken, like using a, bar, a pen and a paper, like I did, whichever way, study those notes. And the reason why is because most of the microbiology professors, actually most um, nursing prerequisites, the professors usually stick to the notes. Some of them, not, not all, but I know, I'm, I know most of mine did. So if you have notes that they, if they give us notes, for me, my school, like this, my microbiology professor, it, the notes he gave us, 90% of the time were things that came out in our exam. So imagine if I didn't take notes or imagine if I wasn't in class or if I didn't take myself seriously and I just sort of missed class all day. I would definitely have missed like 90%. I'm telling you, like 90% of the things that were in my exam. So definitely take good notes. So the second tip would be for you to study every day. Um, obviously, it's a microbiology class, so you have to put all the work. I'm sorry, there's, you, there is no two ways about it. There is, there is no escaping this. If you want to pass, if you want to get an A in microbiology, you have to study every day. If you cannot make studying every day possible, then what you want to do is you want to schedule, you want to create a schedule. If you think it's too hectic, you want to create a schedule for yourself every day and make sure that in that schedule, you have at least an hour or two hours that is devoted to just studying microbiology. I know it's difficult. I, I'm not going to say it's easy because for me, I had to work and I had to go to school. So it was very tough for me to be able to schedule that in my day. But guess what? You just have to do it. There's no two ways about it. If you're going to pass your class, you have to study. You have to study every day. You have to put in all the work and you also have to take um, precautions to make sure that um, you're not piling up the notes for yourself and then the night of the exam, you have like this much work for uh, study. So the third step is use flashcards. Create good flashcards that you understand. Um, and I'm not talking about making it really fancy, you know. I mean, if you fancy, then, you know, do what works for you. But for me, my flashcards were really, really like simple, straightforward flashcards. Just easy enough for me to understand. Um, I didn't overwhelm it with a lot of like diagrams and stuff. I just literally had, for example. All right guys, so here's what I was talking about. Um, this is my, this is an example of one of the flashcards that I made for my exams. So you can see that like I basically just had, um, so this one was uh, a flashcard that Look, if you look at the back, these are like the scientists. So that's Jenna Flennon Lansfield and whatever. And then these are the scientists. The, those are the scientists. And then these are what they discovered, you know. So I just put that. And that's like, it's really pretty much very easy. Um, like I said, it's not very co complex. It's not very complicated. It's just something really simple that you can understand. See, another one is, uh, you know, what is the differential staining and what are the two types? And then on the other end, you know, I obviously have the answer. It says differential staining, blah, blah, blah. 
two types, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, when I, so that when I look at these cards, I just basically remember directly what it's asking for and what we're supposed to do. Okay, that's, that's it for the flashcards. So the last tip that I'm going to share today is, uh, I don't want to sound too preachy, but you really have to believe in yourself and you have to also stay positive. And the reason I say this is because a lot of times, like, even while we, why I started my class the first, like the first week or second week or whatever, you already hear kids saying, oh, I'm going to fail this class. So I'm over here like, well, we haven't even had our test yet. We haven't done anything yet. Do you know what I mean? So how do you already know you're going to fail? I'm just like, oh, I already know I'm going to fail. Okay. But well, guess what happened though? Um, after our first test, we already knew who was failing out of the class. Now, I don't know. I mean, there could be other factors. Like, it could be that the person didn't study, the person didn't take the class seriously. But um, I do know that whatever you speak for yourself would come to pass. So if you start saying you're going to fail a class, there's every tendency that you're going to fail that class. It's just because that's what you've already projected out of it, you know, towards the class. So if you know you want to pass, it's actually easier to just say, I will pass this class. I will pass this class. You keep telling that to yourself. And in, in that, that way, when you actually do that, it reprograms your mind for you to actually study and do what it, it will take for you to, to pass the class. If you're already programming yourself that you're going to fail, then you pretty much would not study that hard. You wouldn't take your classes seriously. You wouldn't go to school. You wouldn't, you know, study for exams. And that would push you closer to failing and what's the point of paying so much money not coming to class and failing and you know um it's not worth it it's not worth your money it's not worth your time you know and and then having to retake the class again that's even worse so if you're gonna do it right do it right the first time and get over it get over it and get on to the next class all right guys that will be all for today and if you have any questions or video suggestions that you'd like me to film leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the video and also share it with your friends bye bye